Hi everyone. Now we will talk about services in Angular. So first I let you know what are the services and why we use them. After that we will make service and we will see how we can get data and use uh, data which is uh, we are getting from the service file. And at last we will discuss some important interview question also. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so let's move to the first question. What are services? See, uh, services are basically a feature of Angular that provide a way to you so that you can separate your Angular data and functions from the your component files. Now you can have two questions like why we want to uh, separate our data and functions from component file. Uh, the reason is so that you can use these functions and data in the multiple components. So let me let me take you through a, one example. Here we have three components and in three components we need a same functionality almost same functionality you can say that maybe let's say we have some products and we want to show these products on the home page as well as uh, with the, as a similar products and then we want to show these product to the admin panel also then what we can do there is a one way uh, we can keep this data in all of these three components uh, maybe this data is coming from the service api right if this data is coming from the api then you can call this service from component one two and three but that will be the redundant code over right uh, but what is the best way to do that we can keep uh, this api call in a service file and we can use uh, this service in the in these three files all right so that uh, we can keep our uh, service call in the common place right so that's why services are very important and one more thing it's not important like only api call we can keep in the service any kind of functionality maybe some common utility function or common data common constant we can all keep them in the services also all right so now let's move to the code and create first service. Okay, to create a service, what you need to do, you have to run a command ng g4 generate s4 service and your service name, which is let's say product. But a uh, better if we can keep this service in a, a folder so that let's say if we have 10, 20 or five services, all service be, uh, should be in a single folder only. So my folder name is also services there, then slash and your service name. Now you can see that two files are created, one for service code, another for service.spec.ts uh, that you can see that this is used for unit test cases, all right? And here we can clear out this thing. Now let's move to, to the services folder and service.product.ts. So how we can call it uh, and how we can check it? To check this, uh, we are able to call or not. For a moment, let's put a log in the constructor only and you can see that service called or something right now go to the app.component.ts so let's say we want to call this service here then what you need to do first create a constructor and there create a property and you can keep this property uh, this property uh, private also if you want if you don't want to use it outside the this class then you can keep it like private and your uh, any property name so let's say my property name is there mm, product data or maybe product service right and then uh, let's get a product service there and this is automatically imported from the uh, this file right and now you can just create a, it as a function now if I just refresh it you will see that service called so this service is actually get called now if you want to keep some data then you should not keep this data in the constructor only because in constructor we cannot return anything if you want to just call some other thing or maybe define some properties that you can do otherwise you can create a uh, better option is you can create a different function there so just me uh, just uh, create me one more function get product data or something and inside this i'm returning some data array and there are some product details let's say name is uh, iPhone you can see that then brand or maybe you can see that category mm, yeah category it could be let's say mobile then last one is price and its price is let's say uh, twenty thousand dollar 
let's say one lakh twenty thousand dollar, right? And let me create some more. Uh, you can say that uh, Galaxy S twenty five or twenty six, whatever, and uh, Samsung like this. Then uh, price is also let's say one ten. Then maybe you can create a Dell laptop. And then you can put their categories laptop and price is let's say one lakh, right? Three are enough, right? Uh, okay. So now if you want to get this data, uh, maybe from one file or maybe from the different files, then uh, you can do that. And how you can do that? Simply create one more function there on ng on init, right? I will show you how we can call this data on button click also, but before that, let's see on the on load, right? And uh, now you can call this this dot product service dot get product data, right? And if you want to console it, you can console log, and here we go. You can see that. But now I want to store this data in a property so that I can display it on the UI. So let's say my property name is product data. And now we have to define its type also. So you, if you want to define the type, then you can simply use, uh, yeah, this type only. Otherwise, if you, if you want to define any specific uh, interface or that you can define, there's no issue, right? Yeah. So it should be its type only. Product data colon then basis. Yep, right. Let me format it once better. Okay, so now what we can do, we can assign this uh, service data to the product data like this, and product data we can render on the UI with the for loop. So, at the rate for loop, and you can say that item of this track item, and you can use h1 tag double curly braces item dot name and here we go we got the name there right but now let's say you want to get all of these name on a button click so what you can do uh, let's say load data and your event there click and you can see that get data you can keep this function name and get data you can def you can replace this get data with the ng on it right so now you can see that there is a no data, but if I just click on the load data, now this data is loaded there. And similarly, if you, I'm not focusing on the style much, but yeah, let me print other data also. So let's say you want to display the category and price, you can display. Here you can see that, right? And moreover, you can add the style there. So this is how we can use a service for common data and common functionalities. In next part, we will see how we can uh, use a service for the REST API. We will try to call API in the next part. And uh, this is my Paytm and GPay donation number. Please like this video, subscribe my channel and comment your feedback in comment section. Thanks everyone.